How's it going guys? Donovan here. I kind of feel awkward standing here. It's been so long since I've made a video or even stood in front of a camera. And so I apologize if my body language is kind of awkward. I gotta kind of get into the get into the feel of doing this again. It's no secret that I've kind of been MIA for the past pretty much a year or so. I've gotten a ton of YouTube comments, Instagram DMs, um, kind of asking where I'm at, like what I've been up to. And so in this video, I just kind of wanted to touch bases with you guys again, kind of give you an update of what's going on with, with the channel, the car, uh, myself, most importantly, the channel and the car, and kind of give you guys uh, kind of an overview of, of what's been going on. So there are a couple of reasons that I haven't been uploading, so I'll go over those. And then I kind of want to lay out a, um, a path moving forward for the channel and hopefully get some of your guys' input um, if, if you have any suggestions. The past year or so of my life has been the most busy that I've ever been. I have started the final year of my bachelor's degree, which was the final year of one degree, but then I started also working on a second degree concurrently, um, a graduate degree as well as working. In addition, I was completely across the country. I keep this car out in California and I actually go to school out in Colorado. So that's why while I'm out there, you get kind of more floating head videos than me driving around and going to the track. So about three weeks ago, I graduated um, with my first degree. I started working not too long after. Because I started working and I'm working in person, now I'm driving this car in LA traffic. I, I work out in LA every day. And so I need it to get to work and I'm, I'm kind of living the corporate America man life right now where I have to commute every day and I need a reliable vehicle. And since I broke the car um, a couple months back and replaced the axles and got it all fixed up, like this car has given me um, zero issues. and. Because, because of that, and because I also rely on it to get to work every day, I'm kind of hesitant to, to do any big modifications to it that could possibly um, cause issues like I had when I first put the cam in and when I had those transmission issues not too long ago. Like for example, I, really, I was really close to buying a torque converter for this car um, a couple weeks back because as you guys know, this thing's kind of a turd off the line right now um, with, the, with the bigger cam. Um, but I realized that it's gonna be down for at least a week, and plus I have to go through a whole big retuning process, and that may cause, you know, um, shutdown, surging, stalling issues again, and I just, I can't do that right now. Now's not a great time to do that. So doing big modifications, like, is not in my best interest while I'm using this to get to work. Because of that, I've looked at buying, like, cheaper cars and stuff. I'm buying, like, a, like a daily, Unless you guys have been living under a rock, you know that the auto market is like ridiculous right now. So even with, you know, five grand, the car that I can buy with five grand cash is gonna be a shitter. So it's just kind of, it's kind of an awkward situation. Um, I'm looking heavily into getting another car right now, um, wink wink, but also keeping the RT still. So this car is not going anywhere. This, I have no plans on getting rid of it. Um, what's coming next, you know, is to be announced. So the third reason is a little more philosophical, um, but I think it's probably the most valid reason is the last few months I've kind of distanced myself from the car community in general. Especially in Southern California where um, street takeovers and street racing is, is very big and it's like a very big issue out here. Like the media and, and the public kind of lump street takeover people and street racing people together. I'd argue that it's a group of two different people um, with some overlap, I get that there's some overlap, but like try explaining that to some Karen on the road, right? She's just gonna think, oh, you have a fast, loud car, um, you're getting into trouble. And because of that, you know, understandably, like the police have, have kind of cracked down. Getting caught is one thing, but the thought of racing getting and, and getting into an accident and possibly hurting somebody else, somebody's dad coming home one night from working overtime to feed his family and then a street racer like wipes him out, that's something that I just don't want to be involved in or affiliated with. And it's something that I don't want to promote on my channel. And it's hard. It, it, it is really difficult. I'm in this weird cycle where it's really expensive to modify this thing. People want to see racing on the channel. 
I'm not comfortable with racing because I don't want to hurt somebody else. So I want to go to a track to do it, but the state of California makes it really difficult to operate a racetrack. And so there's like one near me and it's an eighth mile. Nobody really wants to see an eighth mile track. <laughs> and so I'm in this weird like perpetual cycle where it's, it's kind of difficult to figure out where I want to go with the videos I want to upload because Throwing in another $1,500 part every two weeks, which you guys would like to see, like is not sustainable on my end. Like I don't make that kind of money where I can just keep, you know, buying a $3,000 in parts every month to, to do to the, to show you guys the results for. Them. I'd love to do that, but I'm just not in the place to do it yet. Because of that, I've spent the last couple of months just trying to figure out how I want to reorient the channel um, such that I can make content that you guys want to see and that I'm also comfortable with making. So I hope you guys understand where I'm at. If you guys have any suggestions on things you guys want to see that aren't like street racing or anything because I'm not interested in making that kind of content, um, please let me know. I, I do plan to keep making the tutorial videos and stuff, um, how to's because those seem to be really popular and those kind of keep the channel afloat while I'm not like, like when I take breaks for a few weeks as well, those, those maintain pretty steady views which helps. But yeah, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Uh, I haven't said much, but I'm going to have a new car on the channel soon. I'm still deciding on where I'm going to go with it, but, but I have settled on that's a path that I want to take. This wasn't a super exciting video, so I apologize, but I did want, I, I think I owed it to, to the people who continue to support my channel um, to, t to tell them what's going on. I hope you understand. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Now that I'm out here with the car, there actually will be a next video. I have a couple of ideas that to, to kind of probe like my, my subscriber-based interests and see how they respond to that. And uh, so we'll see. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.